Hi guys, I finally made it to Okinawa. I'm talking with you from my hotel room. The whole trip lasted about 30 hours from the time I left my house. I heard that Okinawa wasn't so welcome from the very first days. At first we had those talks about a potential typhoon and the possibility of moving games to Manila. And yesterday Luka Doncic alongside Slovenia national team woke up at 4 a.m. due to a missile alarm. But anyway, World Cup starts tomorrow and I plan to go to the arena from the very morning. I'll show you the Okinawa arena from the inside and all the behind the scenes footage. So see you soon. So I reached the accreditation center, which is in the one place with volunteer center. It looks like some sort of school out here. The whole place is still empty. It's just about 10 in the morning at the moment. So I'm just outside Okinawa Arena now. Uh, I collected my accreditation. Everything so far so good. Maybe the only uncommon thing was uh, the flying fighter jets next to my hotel. I don't know whether it's a common practice here in Okinawa. I tried to ask my taxi driver about it, but he politely said that he doesn't speak English, so I can only guess. And yeah, the plan is now to go inside the arena to check how everything is from inside and prepare for the upcoming games. I'm back at Okinawa Arena. I just went to the local supermarket to grab some lunch. And I could tell that I was an odd man there. In most cases, I didn't even know what I was looking at, but thanks God for Google Lens because I was able to translate some of the items they had there. We have a mini pizza with yam and sweet corn, sweet chicken, a little bit of shrimps, couple of donuts, biscuits and Fanta for drink. I paid roughly 8 euros for everything, so I guess it's a pretty good deal. I guess I would have paid something similar back home. incredible Japanese fan support. Everything started just before the game. The whole arena was preparing for Germany's introduction and then every German player was named. Throughout all that time the Japanese fans cheered on those players, uh, applauded them and everything like that. While us in Europe are used to very different scene when we see all those booings and uh, whistles stuff like that so yeah it was a very refreshing and positive vibe to be in this atmosphere Hi guys, day two in Okinawa. I'm already in the arena. I just attended Slovenia practice. Nothing too fancy there. Luka was practicing his free throws. No half court shots, no trick shots. Same with the rest of the guys. So we had two games coming up. Cape Verde will be making it David against Georgia, while Slovenia will take on Venezuela. Hopefully these games will be a little bit closer than those two from, from day one. But we'll see.
So everyone's coming to see Luca. Obviously, a little bit more than half an hour left till the game, but we can see that plenty of people waiting to get through entry, and everyone except expects some some of Luca magic here. on the Kanawa. I'm greeting you from the Miyagi coast which is best known for its water sports activities like diving and surfing. The water is crystal clear, it has a large coral leaf so it's not difficult to understand why people come here. This time we are in the American, American Village, which is one of the biggest attractions here in the local town of Chatan. Basically it's the area with American themed shops, stores, restaurants. So let's have a look and take a sneak peek at everything they offer here. back at the Okinawa Arena. As you saw, I spent the first half of the day looking around the town. Now it's time to prepare for the upcoming games. Germany takes on Australia, a big one, probably will decide which team will take the first place in the group. So yeah, see you in the next vlog.